Raise your hands if you ever try to eat a whole meal with your hands. Yes, that's right. I'm talking about the traditional finger licking experience. Well, get ready to embark on a flavorful adventure as you delve into an incredible world of India, a country that makes hands on dining into a whole new level. So, if you wondered why India's cuisine is so beloved or why its culture is so captivating, you are in a delightful treat. Grab your imaginary place and get ready to savor the spicy, the sweet, and everything you want because it is India. India was indeed one of the most populated countries in the world, but not necessarily the most populated because it is sometimes boon and sometimes bin, depends on how it is managed and utilized. It is a boon for us because a large population can contribute to a robust workforce, which can be advantageous for economic growth and development. Secondly, India's diverse population provides a vast talent pool in various fields, leading to innovation and creativity. Higher population can lead to consumer demand, which can boost various industries like industries and market. It is also a bane for us because overpopulation can put strain on essential resources like food, water and energy, leading to challenges in meeting the basic needs of population. High population density in urban areas can lead to issues like traffic, population and bad infrastructure. Uncontrolled population and growth can exacerbate poverty and social inequality, making it difficult to ensure equitable development. Have you ever been stuck into a traffic jam so long that to start remembering the life's deepest mysteries? Well, welcome to India, where we have turned jams into spiritual duties. It is a unique way to practice patience, isn't it? Just remember to bring some snacks and a good playlist to keep us in levels high. Speaking of snacks, let me share a fun fact about India's love for food. We take our cuisine so seriously that we have more varieties of spices than variety there are stars in the sky. Okay, maybe there is slight exaggeration, but you get the idea. Your dishes are delightful, explosion of flavors, and you will never run out of options and to tantalize your taste buds. Now let's talk about festivals and no, I'm not referring to music festivals. You attend with your friends. In India, we have festivals for every day of the year. From Diwali, the festival of lights, the Holi to festival of colors, we sure know, we sure know how to celebrate life to the fullest. Our culture is rich and diverse. Just like the 3000 people listening to this presentation, Think about it over 2000 different languages spoken in English. I mean, when we say we are in the melting pot of cultures, we really mean it. So if you ever find yourself confused about language to use here, just smile and go with your fr friendly nod. This usually works for like magic. Now let's talk about the weather. India's weather can be unpredictable as a boss on a Monday morning. One moment you are basking in the sun and the next you are caught in the monsoon downpour. But hey, let's keep life exciting, right? Despite the ups and downs, the heart of India lies in the people. We are in the nation that believes Atadi Deva Bhava, treating guests like God. So if you ever visit India, be prepared for some incredible hospitality. Our chai and samosas will make you feel right at home. And speaking of chai, it's practically our national drink. You will find chai walas on every street corner and have the power to turn your throne upside down with just one cup of tea. Trust me, it's like a magic of cup. In conclusion, India's population, culture and quirks are a both bane and boon. Just like everything else in life, we change challenges, but we also celebrate diverse unity like no other. So let's embrace the chaos inside the rose and remember, incredible India is not just a slogan, it's the way of life. Thank you, thank you. You are too kind, but before I wrap up, I have the last funny tale to share with you all. Indians are known for their love of cricket, right? It's practically a religion here. Well, let me tell you a secret. We can turn anything into a cricket match. One day I was in a busy market and suddenly I saw a group of children huddled together staring at something intensely. And guess what? They had a cricket mini match and using a small pebble as this ball and a stick as the bat. It was like a mini world cricket ma final in a miniature version. Our passion for cricket runs deep inside our blood vessels. And we find ways to play it wherever, wherever and whenever we can. 
But hey, it's not just cricket that brings us together. Music and dance are woven into the fabric of our lives. We can't resist tapping our feet to the rhythm of Bollywood songs, and we over often break into spontaneous dance moves at weddings and celebrations. Who needs a dance move when you have the whole world as your stage? Now let's talk about languages. Remember the two thousand languages which I talk about earlier? Well, we Indians are skilled at switching between languages faster than you can. Super Califeliches. Oops, wrong language again. See, it's just did it again. It's all part of our linguistic gymnastics and keeps things entertaining. All right, my fellow enthusiast, I could go and on, but I must heal the stage now. It's been an absolute delight sharing the these bits of India's charm with you. Remember the remember the whether you visit India or experience it from far, you will find yourself enchanted by its colors, flavors, and people. So, let's celebrate the incredible journey that India has offered, from its bustling streets to its serene landscapes, from its diverse cultures to its unity and diversity. Thank you for being a wonderful audience, and as we hear in India, Namaste. The India in me boasts to divine in you. Cheers to fantastic day ahead.